Hey, my name is Archonaut. Welcome back. This is Undertale. Let's continue. So here we are. We're outside of our caretakers, I guess. Let's go see what she's prepared for us. Do you smell that? Surprise! It is a butterscotch cinnamon pie. I thought we might celebrate your arrival. I want you to have a nice time living here. So I will hold off on snail pie for tonight. Here, I have another surprise for you. Alright, let's go check it out. I mean, I do want to snoop for a second, if that's okay. Inside is an old calendar from the beginning of 2018 something. These books are worn. They must have been read many times. This is it. A room of your own. I hope you like it. Is something burning? Um, make yourself at home. Oh no, the pie, the pie. Oh my, it's a very orange or fuchsia. Or I don't even know what color this is. Look at these cool toys. They don't interest you at all. That's sweet. You found a slice of butterscotch cinnamon pie. An empty photo frame. It's really dusty. A box of kids' shoes in a disparity of sizes. <laughs> I do. There's something very endearing about this music. Like, it's, it's both nostalgic. And yet, I've never heard it before. It's I'm not, I'm not sure how to describe it, but there's something where it's just like, I feel kind of like happy and sad at the same time. You have seen this type of plant before, but do not know its name. Shot, there are probably killer flowers aren't here. Just a regular old bucket of snails. I don't know, that's what I was looking at here. It's Toriel's diary. Read the circle passage? Yes. You, you read the passage. Why did the skeleton want a friend? Because she was feeling bonely. The rest of the page is filled with jokes of a similar caliber, aka a low caliber. I do appreciate the pun, but come on. It's an encyclopedia of subterranean plants. You open to the middle. Typha, a group of wetland flowering plants with brown oblong seed pods. Known more commonly as water sausages. Okay. You peek inside. Scandalous. It's Toriel's stock drawer! Ah, the cactus. Truly the most... Sundeer of plants? Never seen that word in my life. Sundeer. Room under renovations. Oh, look at that mirror. Cool. It's you! Oh! It is a water sausage. Ah, oh, we know what it is now. That thing's a water sausage, so is this thing right here. Look at that water sausage. What's over here to the left? Aww, oh, hey. Up already, I see. Um, I want you to know how glad I am to have someone here. There are so many old books I want to share. I want to show you my favorite bug hunting spot. I've also prepared a curriculum for your education. This may come as a surprise to you, but I have always wanted to be a teacher. Actually, perhaps that isn't very surprising. Still, I am glad to have you living here. Oh, did you want something? What is it? Oof. We're gonna break it to her yet? Let's, let's not for now? Well, talk to me again if you need anything. Oh, maybe I have to do it. It's a history book. Here's a random page. Trapped behind the barrier and fearful of further human attacks, we retreated. Far, far into the earth we walked until we reached the cavern's end. This was our new home, which we named... Home. As great as our king is, he is pretty lousy at names. The ends of the tools have been filed down to make them safer. Okay. The fire isn't burning hot, just pleasantly warm. You could put your hand inside, but probably shouldn't. Let's go. Let's break a tour in a little bit that we want to go home. 
For some reason, there is a brand name chocolate bar in the fridge. Hmm, I wonder which one. There is some white fur stuck in the drain. Inside the cupboard are cookie cutters for gingerbread monsters. Monsters. The size of the pie intimidates you too much for you to eat it. Well, you don't have to eat it all now, just come on. The stove top is very clean. Toriel must use fire magic instead. And can we go down here? Ooh. I think you should play upstairs instead. Ooh. Alright, let's go break the news to her then. It probably leads back to the underground, you think? Oh, hello! Did you want to hear about the book I am reading? It is called 72 Uses for Snails. How about it? Sure. Here is an exciting snail fact. Did you know that snails sometimes flip their digestive systems as they mature? What does that mean? Interesting. Yeah. Well, bother me if you need anything else. Okay, let's do it. How to exit the ruins. I have to do something. Stay here. But I never stay here. What do you want me to do? Just stand here? No. I'm guessing you're down this way. Yes, there you are. You wish to know how to return home, do you not? Ahead of us lies the end of the ruins. One way exit to the rest of the underground. I'm going to destroy it. No one will ever be able to leave again. Now be a good child and go upstairs. No, wait. Every human that falls down here meets the same fate. I have seen it again and again. They come, they leave, they die. You naive child, if you leave the ruins, they, Asgor, will kill you. I am only protecting you, do you understand? Go to your room. No. Do not try to stop me. This is your final warning. Here I come. You want to leave so badly? Hmm. You are just like the others. There's only one solution to this. Prove yourself. Prove to me you are strong enough to survive. Toriel blocks the way. Couldn't think of any conversation topics. Oh, shite. Toriel looks through you. Knows best for you. Oh, my. Oh. Toriel is acting aloof. She's like, yeah, go after yourself. Yeah, it's not gonna end well. I don't think we can do anything. You try to think of something to say again, but... We'll say something for fudge's sake. Oof, that was close. Coriel takes a deep breath. Um... Ironically, talking does not seem to be the solution to this situation. Alright, fair enough. Yeah, I don't think we can do this. That is right. Go upstairs. No. What will it take for you to learn your lesson? Shit. I can't fight her. There's no way I can defeat her with 80. I'm gonna eat your pie. Thanks for that. I just, I don't think... Yeah, if... If it's not talking... Maybe we just have to show mercy like a million times? Wait, what was that? We're gonna prepare some magical attack! Oh, damn it! It's off to the side. 
Or maybe it's just show, showing mercy a bunch of times. Whoa. <laughs> Oh my, that's too much. That's too much. That's too much. What are you doing? I'm trying to show you mercy, damn it, and you're killing me. Attack or run away? Never! Woo. What are you proving this way? Oh no, uh oh. <laughs> Fight me or leave. No. I'm trying to show you that I... Oh, this is very convenient. Stop it. Okay, the middle... She doesn't want to hurt me anymore? Toriel takes a deep breath. Stop looking at me that way. Yeah, I think she doesn't want to hurt me anymore. I think I got to the point. I think we're okay with 2 HP left. Go away! Toriel looks through you. Okay, maybe we can talk to her now? Look at it. I can't even, like, get hit by it. Couldn't think of a continued conversation topics. Ah, uh, shit. Yeah, she still doesn't want to attack me. Maybe it's because I have 2 HP. I don't know if it's because I'm sparing her. Okay. I know you want to go home, but... Oh, please, go upstairs now. I promise I will take good care of you here. I know we do not have much, but... We can have a good life here. Why are you making this so difficult? Please, go upstairs. Haha. <laughs> Pathetic, is it not? Cannot save even a single child. No, I understand. You would just be unhappy trapped down here. The ruins are very small once you get used to them. It would not be right for you to grow up in a place like this. My expectations, my loneliness, my fear. For you, my child, I will put them aside. If you truly wish to leave the ruins, I will not stop you. However, when you leave, please do not come back. I hope you understand. Oh. Goodbye, my child. Bye. Wouldn't mind you healing me though, you know? We still have our cell phone, though. I get attacked. Oh, fudge. Clever, very clever. You think you're really smart, don't you? In this world, it's kill or be killed, so you're able to play by your own rules. You spared the life of a single person. Hee hee hee. I bet you feel really great. You didn't kill anybody this time. But what will you do if you meet a relentless killer? You'll die, and you'll die, and you'll die. Until you tire of trying. What will you do then? Will you kill out of frustration? Or will you give up entirely on this world? and let me inherit the power to control it. I am the prince of this world's future. Don't worry, my little monarch. My plan isn't regicide. This is so much more interesting. Right. I actually would not be able to defeat that flower if, uh, with just 2 HP. <laughs> For sure.
right, that, I think... Well, we have to make it to a safe spot, so let's just keep going. I was going to say that's it, but no. Let's keep going a little bit more. Really hope nothing happens here. What's that? There's a crack in the ground? The hell was that? Is this a horror game? I thought I saw something behind me. <laughs> it's gonna come out and jump at me and scare me, and then it's gonna be like the cutest little bunny or something. Oh, what is this? I'm frozen in place. Human. Don't you know how to greet a new pal? Turn around and shake my hand. <laughs> the old whoopee cushion in the hand trick. Always funny. Anyways, you're a human, right? That's hilarious. I'm Sans. Sans the skeleton. I'm actually supposed to be on watch for humans right now. But, you know. I don't really care about capturing anybody. Now my brother, Papyrus. Oh boy. Oh boy, we got fonts here. He's a human hunting fanatic. Hey, actually, I think that's him over there. I have an idea. Go through this gate thingy. Yeah, go right through. My bro made the bars too wide to stop anyone. Quick, behind that conveniently shaped lamp. <laughs> oh my god. Sup, bro? You know what's up, brother? It's been eight days and you still haven't recalibrated your puzzles. You just hang around outside your station. What are you even doing? Staring at this lamp, it's really cool. Do you want to look? So he's in Comic Sans, and this guy's in Papyrus font. No, I don't have time for that. What if a human comes through here? I want to be ready. I will be the one. I must be the one. I will capture a human. Then I, the great Papyrus, will get all the things I utterly deserve. Respect, recognition. I will finally be able to join the Royal Guard. People will ask to be my friend. I will bathe in a shower of kisses every morning. Hmm, maybe this lamp will help you. Sans, you are not helping, you lazy bones. All you do is sit and boondoggle. You get lazier and lazier every day. Hey, take it easy. I've gotten a ton of work done today. A skeleton. Sans! Come on, you're smiling. I am and I hate it. Sigh. Why does someone as great as me have to do so much just to get some recognition? Wow, sounds like you're really working yourself down to the bone. Urgh. I will attend to my puzzles. As for your work, put a little more. Backbone into it. <laughs> Okay, you can come out now. What are these things over here? Are these rocks? Just a conveniently shaped lamp. Ain't yeah, no problem. It's some sort of checkpoint or sentry station, but there are bottles of ketchup, mustard, and relish sitting inside. Hmm. You want to get going, he might come back, and if he does, you'll have to sit through more of my hilarious jokes. Alright, peace. Actually, hey, hate to bother you, but can you do me a favor? I was thinking, my brother's been kind of down lately. He's never seen a human before, and seeing you might just make his day. Don't worry, he's not dangerous. 
Even if he tries to be. Thanks a million. I'll be up ahead. Wait. Which way? Oh, yes! The convenience of that lamp still fills you with determination. Alright. There we go! We're in Snowden on Box Road, apparently. And we're just about an hour total into this game. So I'm gonna save it. Oh, I already saved it. And I'm gonna say thanks for watching, and we'll pick it up right here next time. So, take care, and see you next time. Goodbye!